Special video for you guys today. We've been working on this for about two months. We're at Dynamic Tint. We're creating a special film for the roof of the Model Y. I'll show you what makes it special. Tyler cut us out basically a stencil of what they would use to tint the Model Y roof. We're using that as a template to cut this out and I'll show you why that's special right now. Oh, that's gonna sound messy. Bad we don't have videos in 4D. You could hear it and smell it. Mm. Do you smell it? This is an electrochromatic film that we're trying to fit to the roof of the Tesla. You've probably seen it in the Porsche Panamera GTS where it goes from clear to opaque right away. When there is no energy being put in it, it looks like this, you can't see through it. So if you're cruising along and you want to reduce the heat in your car, you'll be able to have it in this state and it's not draining the battery. When current is going through it, that pulls power from the car and that makes it clear. Right now the challenge is getting it to fit in here because it's not like a tint where you can shape it. This is pretty thick. So we're gonna set it on the exterior of the car and see if we can get the cuts that way. All right, so we've done like five renditions of this so far as far as cutting and sizing it. The tough part is when you invert it and put it on the underside, there's these waves that you get in the film. And a lot of times, like when someone is tinting a car, they're able to shrink that with heat. In this case, you're not able to shrink it. So that's the toughest part that we're running into. We're getting closer. We're hoping just by a miracle, it fits. Fuck that ass. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Right there. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So we just got to the end goal, kind of, of making this electrochromatic film fit on the roof of the Model Y. So if you've seen the Tycon GTS where it goes from clear to opaque, it literally blocks out everything so you can just see the ball of the sun. So Dana, tell me a little bit about this film. He came up with the idea and we're, we're both working on it right now. Yeah, I wouldn't say I came up with the idea, but I would say that I thought, how can I apply electrochromatic film now that it's a lot cheaper to manufacture and acquire to a Tesla? Because that uh, big glass roof is annoying. The sun just beats down on you. Usually this technology is laminated between two panes of glass and then expensive cars, luxury cars, supercars have it so you can turn it on and off and you can make the glass either opaque or clear. Now that this type of film is cheaper to manufacture and acquire, I thought, well, what if we could apply this to any type of window? And they already have this in most commercial buildings. You can actually have this as an option when building a commercial building, but not so much in cars. So I came up with a do-it-yourself method. However, the application it's, of it is a little janky. It's, it's, it's ghetto. It's ghetto. It's not there yet. It's, there's a lot of work to be done. This is really cool. We'll take a look at it right now. If this can be done from the manufacturer, if we can get it right as a third party, with Tesla's being so technology focused, this makes the car 10 times cooler as opposed to having a sunshade on it. It totally blocks it out. So you can see we have this. This is just a you know, simple remote here. So right now it's plugged into just a 12 volt outlet and then there's an inverter that inverts it to 60 volts, 30 watts and 0.5 amps or so. And you can see I can turn it on and off with the remote. And uh, that inverter actually has outputs for several different films. So if you had four windows, five windows, you could control it from the controller. Here's it on, and off, on and off. So you can see that the problem that we have right now is that this film is so thick and not very malleable and you can't, uh, you can't stretch it or contract it, it's hard to install because you get all these curves and it's, you can't get a curve that fits properly on the Model Y. So I'm working on that now, we'll figure that out, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, no, I, I, being in the car, like we know it looks terrible right now, but it's so cool. It's just and amazing. If it was done in an OEM to perfection, it would make this just this another step ahead. Yeah, Tesla really should, they should, should figure this out. Do this, <laughs> Even yeah. if we don't figure it out, I want them to figure it out because yeah. it, it it's a selling point. It's another party trick. 
that the car would have. And honestly, there's nothing for them to figure out. They can yeah. get this from a manufacturer that builds their glass as an option, I'm sure. Make it a $2,000 option. Yeah. People would check that box all day. Oh yeah, I would do electrochromatic glass all day long. Yeah, so, so that's it. That's where we're at. Fuck you. Fuck you, Southwest. Yeah. So that's where we're currently at in this process. Dana actually was in a video a while ago when we did the Model Y performance compared to Model Y long range. I'll have that video linked in the description, but we're getting close here. We're gonna go back to the drawing board. We're gonna see what the input is from this video. If you guys are interested in this film and having it in your car, send me an email. Email's at the bottom of the screen there and I'll have you on a list so you can get any updates on news that we're gonna have with this film. Maybe there's no interest, maybe the video just bombs, but we're gonna at least give it a shot. It's fun, it's I, honestly, these little projects are fun. This is really fun and it's worthwhile. Yeah. Like, if you would see this in person, I mean, it's, it's very cool. So, thank you guys for watching. Dana, thanks for flying out and course, yeah. getting the film from China. China. Please like the video, guys. If we can get like 10,000 likes on this, we'll know that there's enough interest to go back and make this work for the Model Y. But if there's not, then we're just not, we're not going to pursue it much further. But we'd really appreciate your support, so please like the video. Here comes... Tyler just bought a Model 3, so he just likes to speed and uh, race around now. So that's what happens when you join the call. Also, give me a follow on Twitter or Instagram. Let me know what you guys think, at Jeebs. Like the video. If we get enough support on this, we'll keep going and we'll make it work. He was using that. That's supposed to be the goat. Yeah. Oh. Do it again. It didn't work. It didn't save it. Oh. It did something. Now it did. <laughs> oh. Sound like someone's in the frunk. Oh. <laughs>